So, yes, I agree to the number which is given, which is about 16 odd percent advertising growth and close to about 14 percent in television. And obviously propelled by a lot of spending by e-commerce giants which came into the being and also a lot of uh, money pumped in by political parties during political advertising. But uh, it's not only the political parties which put a lot of money, but because of there was, you know, what happens is that a lot of brands start to utilize anything which is impactful in media. And since, uh, you know, elections were one of the impactful medium through which uh, they could communicate, a lot of other categories increased their uh, budgets. And that overall propelled this uh, advertising pie in this year, which is about 14%. Uh, now, talking about 2015, uh, I would still say that Madison estimates are conservative. Uh, I I believe that it should be anything in, in the range of 12 to 14 percent again this financial year, um, or rather this calendar year, because a uh, there is you will see a lot of advertising happening on World Cup. There will be IPL for sure, and it's looking bigger and better. Uh, despite that, uh, there are many new launches which are happening in the media, uh, especially in television side where a lot of channels are being launched. That will also increase inventory and consumption of inventory is always uh, welcomed by most of the FMCG advertisers and that will see uh, them probably putting little more money. Sentiments are looking better. This year there was subdued advertising growth by the FMCG which are the mainstay of this um, you know, television medium. So, keeping that in mind, uh, I believe again this year the major propeller by will be the FMCG categories, uh, completely backed by uh, e-commerce, which again will uh, put a lot of money this uh, year, and they have been actually continuously advertising till now. There is not in a single month where they don't advertise. Uh, so they are also going in the route of. FMCGs where they require eyeballs on, on a daily basis uh, and uh, apart from that you know your normal categories like auto and consumer durables uh, they are also going to increase uh, with financial health of the country or you know if the GDP growth increases there is a lot of BFSI advertising which starts to happen and you can see that in this quarter uh, there has been an increase in advertising by the financial institutes especially insurance company, etc. And I believe that they would look uh, even in next financial, though even though it's a small category, but any growth adds to the overall growth. So that's my point of view. See, to frankly, to judge that, it's difficult in today's age because the overall uh, number for digital is still not that great. And what number shown was about 3,200 crore odd. And whereas print and television stand by around more than 15 to 16,000 crore. Uh, so saying that, you know, whatever that percentage of growth which is coming, in ex absolute value it's not that much, right? Even if it is 30% or 32%. Uh, and that is coming on the expense of any other medium, it's difficult to say because if the advertiser is increasing its overall pie, they are looking at various new mediums which are coming in play and probably putting little more money onto the new mediums which give them more ROI and hence the you would see higher percentage increase happening in a digital scenario but at the same time there is a growth coming on the traditional mediums as well. Now if they are cutting that money from traditional and putting onto digital it's difficult to say as of today, right? Uh, I would still feel that they are using it as an additional medium which never existed in this country you know, some five years back or maybe you know a little more than that and now it is becoming an effective medium since they are increasing their budgets accordingly to include that medium in their overall communication. So Jan to March, uh, again, you know, e-commerce has been, as I said earlier also, has been consistently advertising. And despite, I mean, uh, 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 and other than that, there has been uh, financial institutes which has come in, you know, and this is typically their quarter also because your, um, what do you call, 
uh, you know, insurance companies and all, and all these banks, etc., they like to advertise in first quarter of the year. Uh, and so because it's also the end of the financial year and because of tax savings, etc., they advertise a lot. And I have seen them advertising a little more than what they probably did in the last quarter. I mean, last quarter of the last year. Yeah, so that also, you know, so to answer the another, you know, this question for this quarter, I mean, it's adding to that. Actually, you know, World Cup being an option there, uh, a lot of categories have come back and advertised because they don't like to lose the uh, opportunities if provided by the media vehicles. So that has helped. Actually, you know, you see a lot of uh, cars are being, you know, advertised on World Cup. There are a lot of mobile phones are being advertised on World Cup. So these categories have again, you know, increased their spends. So there, these categories are uh, there, and of course, uh, again, e-commerce is 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 the leader in you know utilizing or increasing the percentage spends.